Hi, my name is Stephanie Wilkins and I've had a taxi symptom since 2006, 14 years. I kind of knew there was something going on because I was starting to fumble and I couldn't wear heels any longer starting right then. And I couldn't walk in the grass. I remember um, sitting down on the street corner and on the curb, talking to friends, not being able to get back up at that point. So I was, you know, continuing to have balance problems and I was walking and I had stability issues, but they really, really manifested that year in 2006. And in the next few years, I was no longer playing sports or bowling or doing anything that I normally would do. I was very coordinated. I was a good pitcher but I no longer had coordination. I also noted, noticed about that time that I was taking notes as part of my job and train the trainers of computer people that no one could read them. And they said my handwriting was so bad they couldn't read my notes. Well, I knew something must be bad by now because I had always had pretty good handwriting up to that point. On a personal note, I was also a pretty good dancer. My husband's a very good dancer, and we couldn't do that any longer. We used to dance at every New Year's Eve party and weddings, but that was now gone for me. Team members by now at work were asking if I was okay. They told me that management was thinking I was drunk or hungover because of the way I was walking. At that point, I didn't know about ataxia, so I didn't really even know to defend myself. Um, I didn't even think that anything really was happening at that point. I had not really known about the family, and I had been going to many doctors, six years of doctors, and they finally um, did my test for ataxia because I heard of it by then. And I talked them into it. They sent a panel testing maybe four of the ataxias that I had researched, and it came back positive for SCA6. I did pursue the diagnosis knowing that things would be at risk, like long-term long -term care and um, insurance policies, but I had to know. I needed to know for me for my family and for my children. I retired at that point at 59, moved from California to my home here in Kansas City, my hometown, and I wanted to find out more about this genetic diagnosis and other people in the family. We left our two kids in California, and I now have more falls limitations to stairs, and use the computer for all my writing and corresponding needs. So I have nystagmus and eye movement problems. I do remember driving north though, thinking I shouldn't be doing this. So I have given driving up and decided I didn't want to get hurt and I didn't want anyone else to get hurt. So I decided just try and work from home I mostly volunteer, quit working, and I use a computer for most everything I do. My uh, symptoms are getting worse now. I've used a walker for about four years full time. And I think they're escalating much more than the past 14 years. And they're much stronger now. Usually the voice is affected greatly with spinal cerebellar of any kind. Um, I'm just now starting a real shaky voice and I know that I'm mumbling in the evenings. I have shaky arms, legs, and hands now and laughing and sneezing are my latest problems. Challenges, leaking and looking for a restroom is what I do now. I'm choking on water. That's my latest challenge. Um, I probably need a thickening agent. I deal with all these symptoms as they come, 
but I worry that I will not be able to take care of my personal hygiene and care. And I worry that I gave this to my two children. They're only in their 30s. I'm sure, well, I hope not, but it probably will affect them sooner than it did me.